Let's see. The queue of viewers has gotten a little shorter because we shipped another one. We shipped the estate management improvements viewer this week. Uh, or was it last week? But anyway, it's out. It's last the week, these, these days. Yeah. Um, I think there's one feature in that that's still waiting for a simulator deploy, but otherwise it's it's all there. Um, and uh, of course we keep updating the EAP viewer pretty regularly. Um, that's still got some rendering issues to deal with. Um, and let's see, what else do we have in the queue, Veer? Uh, uh, I mean, I think the next thing we'll be promoting will be Mate Terranino. That's um, that's uh, you know a collection of miscellaneous bug fixes and smaller improvements that's been percolating for a while now. Okay, um, and uh, let's see. We're, we've been, a large, large part of the team has been heads down on uh, the teleport problems, um, which we think we're, we've, we've got a handle on now. And um, we've also been making progress on uh, attachments coming off on region crossings. So that. None of those changes are out yet, but we hope to have them out um, within a couple of weeks. Um, and we're going to be delayed a little bit by making sure that we've really got the teleporting um, <laughs> uh, thing really, really definitively licked. Uh, and we're being a little cautious. Um, the good news is that the in the process of uh, well, not only the good news is that it's it seems to be at least mostly fixed. Um, I say mostly because in the process of working on this, we have dramatically improved the quality of our uh, information gathering around teleports. Um, and the new numbers seem to look pretty good. But, of course, we don't have those those same measures from before the incident because we weren't collecting that information then. Um, so we don't have a, an old baseline to compare them to. They're certainly way better than they were when the teleports were failing. Way, way better. So, um, and now we have all those measures, so the next time something like this happens, uh, we'll be able to see it more clearly much earlier. So, um, so it's not been a fun few weeks working on this, but uh, we do seem to have made a lot of progress. So um, that's good. Uh, so I think that's all the news I've got. So the floor is open. Uh, yes, I did see that kitty, and I haven't had a chance to do anything with it because I've been swamped with firefighting. Um, we're uh, we're going to be doing things with um, with a lot of the stuff that's related to that anyway for other purposes. So we'll we'll try to catch that up. The flicker cap fail. We're investigating it. We don't have it completely tracked down. It, as far as we, we haven't changed anything on our side. What that probably means is that somebody changed something on the other other end, and we didn't notice. Um, and uh, uh, and we have to adjust something, but we haven't finished diagnosing that. And they certainly haven't sent us any notice about it. No, no, we didn't get any heads up about it, which, um, so, these things happen, but we'll, we and have in been case you, oh, sorry. No, no, it's all. 
in case you missed it, uh, we threw in the towel with the Facebook API changes and are removing the Facebook functionality from the viewer. Yeah, they made that very significantly more complicated and difficult, and so we're giving up. It is true that we've heard a good deal more about Flickr breaking than we did about Facebook. Right, but that's because Facebook had been broken for so long. <laughs> Stop complaining. Now we're just taking out the broken functionality. I'm not sure I understand the question about giving access to baked versions of the textures. Um, I mean, bakes, bakes on Mesh is using the same baked textures that avatars have had all along. So, um, you know, you have the same same level of access to them. It, it just lets you display them on uh, Meshes as well as on uh, custom avatar. Can I ask um, a couple of questions about the emergency roll that you did on the 18th or 19th of April? Um, did you roll the operating system back? Uh, we have done we have done a couple of rolls during the teleport difficulties. Um, some of those were changes in the OS. And, um, and has anybody else observed that there's an awful lot less processing time for scripts since the operating system was rolled back? Um, I don't know that we have looked at that question yet. But I mean, I mean for example, um, the region I, I have usually runs about 18 milliseconds of scripts. It's now capped um, at about 12 milliseconds, which means only 60% of scripts ever run whereas it was 100 before the 18th of April. Uh, okay, well, we're, we're, we'll, we'll take a look at that on the, on the newer OS systems, and I'll, I'll try to get that metric grid-wide. I, I, I am always hesitant to decide that we have a problem based on anecdotal reports, because the plain fact is that the variability uh, across the grid as a whole for almost any metric that we can choose is enormous. Um, but if we can, but, but of course, we have the we have the data on the back end, so we can look at um, the new OS that. versus the old OS, and they ought to be the same. If they're not, then we've got an issue. Is this by chance this region here? Is this on the new OS because it's running 100% of its scripts? Uh, I don't remember which one this is, but I can look. This is 
what I, what I can do Oz, is I can I can send you a list of I don't know fifteen twenty regions if you like that are all suffering, um, running between thirty and fifty percent of their script times, whereas before they were running a hundred. Yeah, no, this is the old OS. The older, yeah, it's minimally script to those now because it's running 100% only 12 milliseconds. It seems to be that they've actually reduced the amount of scripts that will complete. I I don't know why that would be true, but uh, we, it, it is something that if I put our data guys onto it, we can definitely do a direct comparison. So we can we can look look very directly at that. Um, and we next week's RC rolls will be a better comparison than what we have on the grid now is uh, because they'll be a little bit more um, evenly distributed. So uh, oh, we'll have a look at that. We'll we'll, we'll keep it on the we'll keep it on the to be investigated in that in that effort. Um, the um, the OS change we're, we're making is needed in order to eventually migrate the simulators to the cloud. But uh, so we do have to make the change somewhere. But of course, we want to. We don't want to do that in a way that, that degrades performance. The new one was running with the old one. The new one was what? The new one before the rollback was running better than the old one. Yes, and some other stats that we have on it um, agree with that assessment. So we're certainly, I mean, like, there's no option where we don't upgrade the OS. Right. I mean, do you, do you want a list from me of 20 regions or so, or, or is that something you don't need? Uh, no, I don't need it. We'll, 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 we'll compare all of one to all of the other. Um, uh, I mean, there are always going to be some regions that are performing poorly for various reasons, and... Uh, so we, but we'll we'll have a look on a on a broader scale. Uh, we 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 do have some other work queued up in the near future for script performance. So uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll be doing a lot of measurement spare time. Spare time is also reported incorrectly on, on homesteads. It always says 16 milliseconds of spare time, but 20% of scripts running, yeah? Oh. Uh, well, maybe we can fold fixing that into the other project. Lab employees are not allowed to use third-party viewers on their work computers or on our work networks, but there's no reason why we can't use them on, uh, there's, there's no policy against using them uh, with your, yeah, you can't use them with your Linden account. You can use them with your non-Linden accounts. Right, as a, on your resident account. Yeah. And on your non Linden Lab machine, you can use any viewer you like. And people right. do. Yeah, lots of them do. Uh, probably for many of the same reasons that other people do.
I've got one that I'd like to get a general sentiment on. Um, we are um, considering the possibility of no longer sending group messages to IM for everyone. Um, I, if, if you think that's a terrible idea, you can scream, but the, the purpose is to stop sending spammy messages to people's emails uh, because uh, regardless of how much we may try to educate people that when they report something as spam, they're actually reporting Second Life sending email as spam, um, we will do it because the content of the message is spammy. I mean group notices. So right now we send both IM to email and group notices to email if you enable IM to email uh, and your email address is verified. Uh, we would only send IMs to email but not group notices. They would queue offline in exactly the same way they do now. Minus, hopefully, minus the bug that Kitty was talking about earlier. So as if... Uh, The, the difficulty, Lou, is that um, people, and sometimes automated filters, respond to and report the contents of the email without respect to whether it's a, a group notice that they subscribed to. Um, and uh, that ends up causing Second Life's secondlife.com's reputation as an email sender to be degraded, which ends up causing um, lots of mail systems to refuse to deliver anything that comes from us. Um, so, yeah. Um, actually, object IMs are another interesting case, but, but the um, but group notices are the ones that seem to cause the most negative feedback from the from the spam filtering operations, at the moment at least. You would still get your group notices on login, yeah. They don't go away. Yeah. They would sit in your notifications just as they do. I mean, the, the, the objective here is to make email from secondlife.com be much, much more reliable than it is now. There are a great many users who just can't get our emails, um, even even the, the benign ones. Um, and the problem is that we have too high a ranking in the, or low, depending on how you think about it, too, too bad a ranking in the, uh, in, in some of the spam filtering um, operations because of how frequently they're reported as spam. Coffee, the algorithms are actually much more complex than that, um, but we're well plugged into how that works. Uh, you currently are able to choose specific groups from which you get notices at all, right? You can't choose whether they go to email or not. Uh, the, the difficulty is that building all of this complexity in to go group by group for emails is possible, but takes a lot of work, uh, which means it would be, you know, deprioritized behind a bunch of other things that are more urgent. Uh, this is kind of a and more fun. Switch. Oh, yeah, a lot more fun with a lot of things that could break along the way. Um, Uh, and uh, oh, that's an interesting point, really. And so turning off all group notices is easy. Um, building in options and 
you know, per group uh, notifications is hard and will probably not happen in the short term. That's that's kind of where we've gotten to, Torque. Is it, the, the group notices? If we look at what is being reported as spam, uh, the group notices really dominate the picture. Uh, so we can cut down on the reporting by filtering them out quickly. We, we have thought about whether or not we can increase the offline queue limit. We haven't made a decision about it yet, um, but it's it's definitely an, under consideration. We have to assess what the impact is. Thank you for the for the feedback on that. Considered that Yoshiko and um, decided not to do it. At least we've done that in the past. It hasn't been recent. Well, here's something to consider about um, group notices and email versus other ways of bringing people in. Uh, one of the projects on the roadmap um, is an update to events. Um, and so <laughs> my personal hope is by making more uh, uh, events more reliable and usable, um, we would shift some of that to events that people choose to opt into and then get notifications about. Um, versus getting things as a group notice.
That's a that's a very good idea, Kitty. We'll make sure that we. That's spiffy. Can you can you make that. it a Jira actually? Yeah, and that's so it doesn't fall really off. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it would be great. It's a, um, totally doable, too. Yeah, part of what we're trying to do in the course of updating events is make them more useful in a variety of ways, but also make them less useful as a spam mechanism. Can can you be more specific which SL website to the Jira or something else? To SL.com. Oh.
Reading the tea leaves, uh, his internet. Yeah, he may have either lost internet or crashed really hard. All right, his, uh, his local um, internet failed, and it doesn't sound like it's coming back. Yay! I made it. Sorry about that. Lost my net connection there for a couple of minutes. Um, Beck, it's not just leaky old OSs, it's that there are some very widely used video cards that are only supported on the 32-bit, which is really annoying, but there you go. So. Yeah, there's some, the, the, the onboard things that Windows doesn't support, except with a sneaky hack that we put in the Windows 32 build. So, but there are still a lot of people using 32-bit um, systems. I, I don't, I choose not to comment on that. Except to tell them it would be better if you upgrade. Um, EEP has been impacted slightly, but not as much as you might think, because most of what's left for EEP is fixing rendering glitches, uh, and that isn't server-side, so we don't have a, there's not too much conflict. There were a few fixes that had gotten roll, uh, that had gotten dropped in the rollbacks, but, uh, they should be anything that that was missed in this one should be in the in the one that's scheduled for RC next week if it gets through the weekend. That one, yes. Oh, we're called ducking it. I think I said I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Thanks, Kitty. Um, it's not a duck. It's a... Whichever one is ready will go first. Presently, my money is on Eep, but, uh, you know, these things change. Yeah, we don't actually we don't actually schedule what order things are going to happen in. We it's we it's a competition. <laughs> we, we put everything out there, and then we whichever one does best, that's the one we do first. Sort of an evolutionary model. <laughs> a respite and reliability. Uh, and reconciliation. That <laughs> that uh, you know, it'll be I'm kind of out of character. I don't, I don't think straight we... away, and it's all going to go horrible again. Or is there going to be a little period where we can sort of like have some nice reliability? It's um, going to be awesome all the time. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I, I, if we if we stop doing things, then the then people will just assume that we're shutting down Second Life. Since we're not doing that, we we don't want to stop doing things. I suppose the worry is that you get this all fixed and everything, everyone can TP around and eat works wonderfully and then the next week your old bakes on mesh and we're back where we started again. That was just the thought. <laughs> well, well, we'll try not to break teleports when we were all bakes on mesh. At least. Because Grumpany would kill me if we did. <laughs> it's actually not quite true because I don't know what I'd do if I kill you. <laughs> well... I'm counting on that. Big Sun Mesh is nearly all viewer and uh, appearance service, so impact on simulator should be negligible anyway. Right. Fixing all the bugs, I like that. Why didn't we think of that, Oz? Uh, I don't know. Let's fix all the bugs. You didn't have a Jira for it. Somebody file a Jira that says fix all the bugs. Yeah, that we we kind of are in eternal beta. I mean, in a way, we we put out the new versions all the time, and uh, and as someone on the on the forums did a very good job explaining just how difficult it is to do uh, changes to Agni specifically, because there just isn't any way to replicate both the volume and the variability of what goes on on Agni. It's just not possible. Uh, so we do the best we can, and we, we're constantly adding to what we test rigorously in advance, and, you know, adding cases. There's a whole bunch of teleport testing technology that we've put together as part of this whole effort that we're not going to discard when it's done. Uh, but... Uh, no, the monitoring on TP fails is, has no measurable performance impact. It's just a little extra logging that then our our data collection systems mine to find out what's going on. Um, but uh, it's a uh, you know it's a it's a big thing, which is why we have the release candidate channels, right? We we put them out. We put things out there because it's the it's the best way to figure out whether or not something's going to be a problem when it gets to Agni scale. <laughs> Thank you, Peck. Peck, that was very helpful. We'll get right on it. Oh, I actually remember that one, really.
Are you suggesting she actually filed it before we fail? Yoshiko, can you be more specific? Which brokenness are you referring to? Oh, the uh, video playback. Um, it's doing another round of development on that and opening it up is on the roadmap, but we just haven't been able to get to it yet. There are only so many Lindens, and they can only type so fast. Okay, if there's if there are no other topics, we can wrap up a few minutes early. Anything else? I don't think this is the place to respond to your rant on the forum, but um, we did see it. <laughs> but uh, it's not done yet. Let's let's leave it at that. I can't believe you just fed the troll laws. We read the forums, despite what people think. Just not all of them. Well, we can't keep up with everything, but we do watch. We, we, we get little notices if you put an at in it, or at least I do. We also have band hammers. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can choose to believe what you want to believe. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you in two weeks.
drinks over on the pubs are open, got a dash. <laughs> it's only 1 p.m. here, but I kind of feel that way too. Nine o'clock here, you know. Cheers. I really like that That's little goat. I want a little goat. Next time. Matilda's adorable. In second life, <laughs> you can have one.